up to now when we use the for loop the the programmer decided how many times the for loop needs to happen so for example in the previous video in which we calculate find, found the maximum every time the program ran we would find the maximum of 10 numbers therefore the for loop would stop at when x becomes 10 but you will agree that it's much more user friendly if we allow the user the person that runs the program to decide how many numbers he or she wants to enter so the first thing we do is when the program starts we say to the user how many numbers do you want to enter and the user enters that and it's stored in the variable count so the user could enter 10 12 20 whatever and that value is then stored in the variable count notice then the only thing that changes after this is that in the for loop instead of x going to 10 or to a specific value x now goes up to count and therefore the number which the user enters will determine how many times the for loop is conducted